Just steps from the nation's capital is the United States Botanic Garden, a glass conservatory and outdoor gardens. Each student was asked to tackle three stations, each with its own unique question, which incorporated one of their senses. Here comes your question. They had 12 seconds to answer each question. The, um... the first station in the garden court required their sense of smell. This is Titan Arum, also known as the corpse flower. When it blooms, it emits a foul odor that attracts pollinators. Take a whiff. <laughs> Titan Arum is endemic to Indonesia and can be found in what mountain range that stretches the length of the island of Sumatra? The Medan Range? The Barisan Mountains? I'm not That's sure. Time. All right, thank you. Please head to station two. Deep within the garden's jungle, requiring a sharp eye. So this is a club moss plant, and its spores are highly flammable. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Now here's your question. Club mosses played an important role in the development of early flash photography. Two European scientists invented flashlight powder in 1887 near the city of Potsdam in which country? Germany. Thank you. Then it was on to station three in the garden primeval, where the students needed to listen carefully. This plant is called scouring rush, and its stems are actually coated with silica. So when you take two stems and rub them together, they sound a lot like sandpaper. Have a listen. Wow. Pretty cool, huh? Yes. And here's your question. Native American tribes have used these stems to clean and polish a variety of materials for a long, long time. But the Havasupai children have actually taken the hollow stems and used them to make whistles. This tribe lives on the Coconino Plateau near what major river? The San Joaquin, how do you pronounce it? The Colorado River. So how did they do? I got less nervous after the first and second question. I think the question that was hardest was the last question. Yeah, gosh. 